Hello viewers. Welcome to Legendary Muscles. As you know, there were many great physiques in the golden age of bodybuilding, but even among the all-time greats, Serge Nubre stood out. Many people consider Nubre, along with his rival Sergio Oliva and Arnold Schwarzenegger, to be the epitome of the best physiques ever. But uniquely, he was also world-class for longer than anyone in history, maintaining an unbelievable condition for nearly 40 years. Long after he was done competing, Nubre set unprecedented standards for what the human body could look like in its 50s and 60s. At age 54, he was still guest posing with a physique that was almost identical to what it was when he was 37 and finished second in the Mr. Olympia. He was 70 years old and still had muscular 20-inch arms and that trademark airtight chest development. But Nubre was more than a statuesque physique. He was also a rebel, a trailblazer, and an enigma, unconventional in every way possible. He rebelled against the Weida empire that controlled every aspect of the sport, and because of that, he would never be crowned Mr. Olympia. He refused to sign a contract with the Weeders. He refused to move to America. During a time when his physique would have provided serious competition to Arnold, Frank Zane, and anyone else in the world, he headed the NABA, where he and Oliva would trade victories into the 1980s in relative obscurity, away from the limelight of the Weeders IFBB Olympia. Nubre also defied scientific research, broke all established training conventions, never read a training book, ignored what his competitors were doing, scoffed at what was written about him in muscle magazines, and created his own revolutionary training system and diet. While he lifted alone as a rule, he also trained hundreds of bodybuilders in gyms in France who swore by his techniques. The focus of Serge Nubre's training was to pump as much blood into his muscles as possible. He lifted moderate weights for, typically, 12 to 20 reps per set. Rest periods were kept to a minimum of 60 seconds, and, typically, about 30 seconds. So, he almost didn't rest. Once he got going, he just kept pumping away. What follows is a sample routine, but he would sometimes do one exercise for 15 or more sets. There have been workouts when I've done only 30 sets of bench presses. If one exercise works best, why do a lot of others that work less well? Nubre said. Nubre focused on mostly basic, free weight exercises, but then he didn't have access to all the machines of a well-equipped modern gym. As was the norm before the 80s, he trained body parts twice weekly. In addition to his morning abs workout, he typically did two daily workouts, hitting one major body part, like quads, in the morning and the other, like chest, in the afternoon or evening. Sometimes, he combined the two major body parts into one workout, but rested for 15 minutes between the two. He did not train to failure. Intensity and strength gains were not principal focuses. Pumping up his muscles was. Given that he used light weights, Nubre had a unique definition of training to failure. Say he was doing the bench press with 175 pounds, a weight he could easily handle for 24 or more reps, for 8 sets of 12 reps with a 30 second rest. He would take all 8 sets to failure and get 12 reps on every set. Obviously, this can be hard for modern trainees to understand. Nubre would attempt to explain it by saying, I can use my mind to put on the bar the weight I need to reach failure on each set. Here's what this meant in action, he would perform the first few sets using ultra-strict, controlled movements to really amplify the mind-muscle connection. For the last few sets, he would utilize slightly faster wraps and more focus on simply completing that final twelfth wrap, come hell or high water. Nubre was shredded year-round but you never found him pacing on the treadmill. His long, fast-paced workouts eliminated the need for any additional cardio in his mind. 
He also pumped up his heart rate by doing a daily set of sit-ups that lasted a full hour. However, his frequent low-rest weight training workouts and his 2,000 morning sit-ups served as cardio. Nubre peaked before NO supplements, but those who wish to follow his routine today should utilize pre-workout citrulline or arginine to maximize their pump. He considered bodybuilding to be more of a lifestyle than a sport. For him, competitions were primarily a way of enforcing the lifestyle. But he definitely wasn't an in-season but off-season bodybuilder. He never bulked up, never got fat, and advised never getting more than 10 pounds above peak condition. For most muscle groups, Nubre would hammer straight sets. The only exception to this was biceps and triceps, which he would alternate continuously, with zero rest, for the entire workout. He believed these to be the only muscles close enough to each other to pump effectively using supersets. He also did fewer sets for them, because he said they got so much indirect work from his dozens of chest, shoulder, and back workouts. Nubre emphasized basic exercises, squats for thighs, bench press for chest, barbell press for shoulders, barbell curl for biceps, lying triceps extensions and pushdowns for triceps, standing calf raises, lying leg curls for hamstrings, and chin-ups for back. He would also use other isolation exercises for each muscle, but his training was anything but fancy. You need a good training partner to reach your full potential, right? Nubre disagreed and trained alone his entire career. Of course, when you are only resting 30 seconds between sets and doing up to 40 sets, training alone is a necessity. Nubre believed in massive protein consumption of 400 to 600 grams per day, primarily from red meat. He ate horse meat for most of his career, sometimes up to 6 pounds of horse meat a day. He would say, protein and only protein can build muscle, and if you eat too much, the excess is used as a source of energy. He didn't spread this intake around 5 to 6 meals, either. Nubre only ate two or three massive meals per day. Once during his peak of training in the 1970s and after training five hours and not eating all day, he reputedly ate 14 pounds of food in one sitting. Serge Nubre's training split. Monday and Thursday, abs, chest, quads. Squat eight sets of 12 to 15 reps. Leg press 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Leg extension 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Bench press 8 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Flat fly 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Incline bench press 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Incline fly 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Dumbbell pullover 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Tuesday and Friday, abs, back, hamstrings. Pull up 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Behind the neck pull down 8 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Front pull down 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Barbell row 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Lying leg curl 8 sets of 15 to 20 reps. Standing one leg curl 8 sets of 15 to 20 reps. Wednesday and Saturday, abs, shoulders, arms, calves. Behind the neck press 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Alternate dumbbell front raise 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Upright row 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Cable side lateral 6 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Barbell curl 8 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Superset with Push down 8 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Dumbbell curl 8 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Superset with Triceps dip 8 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Standing calf raise 8 sets of 12 or 20 plus reps. Seated calf raise 8 sets of 12 or 20 plus reps. Abs daily. 
Sit up one set of 2,000 wraps. Seated leg raise four sets of 20 to 30 wraps. Serge Nubre's double split routine is, in some ways, a relic of an earlier era. Few people today have the time, or inclination, to work out so often and for so long. However, there are lessons to be learned. Include more of the exercises that work best and less of the exercises that work less than best. You don't have to go heavy on the free weight basics. At least some of the time, focus on maximizing the pump with less rest between sets and more reps per set. And, most of all, train and diet for aesthetics, like the great classicist, Serge Nubre. If you like this video, kindly share it. Subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos in the future. Stay hydrated and motivated. We will get back to you soon. Be legendary.